Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg with WrestlingMayhemShow.com for your Mayhem Minute. Please check out our friends IndieWrestling.us for some really awesome local action from the indie, independent wrestling scene that we're helping out with, as well as uh, BoldPittsburgh.com, SliceOnBroadway.com, some friends of ours supporting the shows. Let's support them back, guys. So the news of the day, and I hate talking about this part of it, but Daniel Bryan, uh, there's an update over on WrestleZone.com. It's kind of the place I go. But uh, big big news that Daniel Bryan is believed to have suffered uh, uh, his injury a, a couple weeks ago against Sheamus on SmackDown. And it's noted that it, it's, it was sustained on uh, April 9th and it worsened his condition. Uh, and, and it's potentially a concussion. And, and he was taken off the European tour. And the word is company sources from wrestle observer again take these as a grain of salt these are in my mind unconfirmed i don't know um it says that brian will be out for about five weeks which will mean he'll be missing both extreme roles and the payback pay-per-views he's the intercontinental champion right now so they're going to be doing something with that they'll probably have some kind of vacant match for it uh, i would imagine in extreme roles if that is the issue i think daniel bryan not now but very soon is pretty much done now let me qualify that. Daniel Bryan, he has. This is a guy that has been in the in, in the industry. Um, it took him how many years? He's been wrestling since you know early two thousands. I'm sure, uh, training, et cetera, et cetera. He's worked. He's worked around the world. He's been had crazy matches. Um, a work ethic and style. You know that he's obviously had to scale back even more recently with his neck injury and everything. Um, or not his neck injury. No, his neck injury. What was it last year? Anyways. Um, the wear and tear, I think, has gotten to him. And he had his moment last year. And it's very awesome that he had his moment at WrestleMania 30. But he is, I want to call him injury prone, but obviously stuff is breaking down. Stuff is happening to him. Um, and I think that means you will not see him regularly in the main event. He's not going to be a John Cena. Not because of his looks and everything like that, but he doesn't hold up. And, and, and it's so... And this is where I go to, well, actually, these guys need, kind of need breaks. We talked about yesterday about the break that uh, Lucha Underground is taking. And I still stand by. I think I think there should be like a three-month break for these guys to to recoup. So this doesn't. Keep, this is the kind of stuff that keeps happening. Because all they know to do is push until their body gives out. And then they get a break. And they come back too early. You know, it's just, it's almost barbaric. Um, and I think... Uh, you Daniel Bryan fans, I'm so sorry, but I think you got to get ready for the fact that Daniel Bryan may not get a lot of those big opportunities anymore. Um, I think he's a guy that's always going to have some sort of a role with the company at this point. I think he's more than proven himself, and he's a good hand, and he works with everybody. Um, but I just don't think he's going to be put up top because um, this is twice now where he's been given a title, and after WrestleMania uh, has fallen to something. And circumstances or not, it's going to weigh on decision making in the future. So, but we know he's more than a people's player, of course. Let me know what you think about Daniel Bryan, the latest injury, and is he injury prone? Is will he get another opportunity if this keeps happening? Um, let us know on the comments to this at WrestlingMayhemShow.com on our YouTube channel, or you can find us on Twitter at Mayhem Show um, or the Great Wrestling Mayhem Show group. Over on Facebook, there's a lot of great, great, great conversation over there, and this video is posted there as well, and you can latch on to that conversation. We'll see you guys next time, and of course, please check out live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com Tuesday nights, 9 p.m., and we have a lot of fun. It's our podcast party all night long, starting at 6 p.m., actually, with some other geeky things that you can find over at sortofshotmedia.com. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.